What's up guys, Quarter Hoarder here and I'm back with the Nibbler. He just came back from vacation. He, he misplaced his shovel, so he was in a bummed out mood. He's gonna have to dig with the, the handheld one. But uh, we got an old house here. This house was built, when was this house built? Uh, 1900. 1900, this is the homeowner. He asked me if I could look for some of his arrows because he shoots arrows out here. But there's the house, how cool is that? It's 100 some years old. He's got a lot of property. We're hoping to find some old stuff. So uh, we'll be back on the first dig. All right, let's find some arrows, Nibbler. All right, I got a lead. Soldier. Kyle just got this cool arcade token. And I just got a beautiful, complete harmonica reed. Kyle not only left his big shovel at home, but he also left his small handheld shovel at home. St. Christopher protect us. Awesome. It's got some markings on it. I don't know. I haven't gotten the date yet. I'm gonna turn it over for the first time. And I'm still not gonna get a date. There's a stone or something. crystal -y looking. I guess you would consider this modern. Well, it's not from the 1800s. <laughs> Homeowner was getting upset with seeing all the plugs flipped over. They politely asked us to, uh, to leave. We ordered a pizza. I'm waiting for it to come. So I'm at least sticking around for my pizza. All right, first haul of the day for me. I just got a key. About four inches down. It's got some markings on it. I don't know. Kyle not only left his big shovel at home, but he also left his small digging handheld shovel at home. So he is not in a good mood. He had a cheapy shovel in his trunk, and the first hole he pulled back on it, the shovel bent in half. Oh man, uh, it's terrible. But uh, all right, well, I got a key. Kyle got a piece of a Hot Wheel car. That's the shovel he's using. An old grandma's gardening tool. Uh, Alright, we'll be back. Uh, guys, the, the nibbler actually left to go to Lowe's to try to find a better shovel. He's been having some real shovel problems. I just got, might be the coolest find I'm going to get all day. I got a lead soldier. I didn't clean him yet. He's caked with dirt and I don't want to ruin him. That is awesome, but it's definitely an old lead soldier. He's still got the base on him. Wait till the nibbler sees this. He's gonna be mad. Uh, he just can't catch a break, the nibbler. Uh, all right, pretty cool piece here. We're gonna keep on going. I'm near this holly tree. We got a long way to go on this property, and this property is old. And I think I can get the neighbor's house too, right behind this holly tree. So uh, we'll see how it goes. All right, I'm up near the fence line here by this big holly tree, or whatever the heck it is. And I just got a beautiful, complete harmonica reed. That's a nice one. Mostly when I find them, they're broken. That's a nice, complete harmonica reed. Awesome. Getting a lot of signals around this tree. I'm gonna dig them. I don't care if they're even in the 30s. I'm gonna dig them and see what comes out of the ground. Okay, keep going. All right, about four inches down, maybe five inches down. I had a bouncy signal. I got this little piece of metal but when I rechecked the hole I also got this I think it might be some sort of a piece of bling I think it might be a necklace like a charm let me clean this up hang on a second now I cleaned it up it's definitely some bling I don't know what kind of charm it is there's a stone or something on there. You can see it's crystal-y looking. I don't know. I'll have to clean up better at home. You can only do such so good of a job out in the field. But uh, awesome piece. All right, Kyle's first decent find. He got back from Lowe's. He bought like a wooden kick shovel. So at least he's got something to dig with. They just got a broken dinosaur uh, car. I don't even think it's broken. Oh, it's not? It looked like it was broken yeah, for a second. That's the curly tail. Oh, oh I thought his head was retracting. Yeah. I guess you would consider this modern. Well, it's not from the 1800s. <laughs> <laughs> but that's it pretty is. Cool. Oh, I can it, see Hot Wheels in the bottom. It does have bright, right eyes. So you can't that's go. awesome. All right, quick break, guys. We're going to do a little bit of where go the logo. It's got two video clips today. I'm going to try to keep it short. This first one comes from my buddy Kevin. His YouTube channel is MDing Etex with Kevin. Link down below. 
Uh, it's just, just short for Metal Detecting East Texas with Kevin. Uh, the guy finds a ton of rings. Uh, let's check it out. He got the Quarter Hoarder logo on his one of his rings find cases. Check this out. Jason, a.k.a. Quarter Hoarder, was nice enough to send me one of his logos. I gave it a place of honor on my ring box. See all rings I found, metal detected. I put it on there last night, and today, there's the one I found. A 14 carat with three diamonds. Finally, them logos are luck. That is one impressive collection of rings. He finds a ton of rings. He is the ring master. He does old schools and old ball fields and things like that. He finds rings almost every trip. Check him out. He's doing a, he's doing a giveaway right now too for 400 subs, I think it is. M Ding E Tex with Kevin. Link down below. And I'm gonna do one more shout out. This is from my friend Nathan over at Dog is my co-pirate. Uh, a lot of you might know Nathan. I see him commenting on a lot of the same videos I comment on. He did a whole cool segment where he was digging in Chile, the country. Now he's back in the States, and man, he goes all around. I've seen him in New York and Washington State and Oregon, and I don't even know. He's all over the place. But uh, he's a good digger, and he finds good stuff. Let's see out this little clip. There he is. There's Jason, quarter hoarder. Yeah, put that on there, and I found that. Shortly after, so maybe it is good luck. But I appreciate it, Jason. You have supported my channel basically from the beginning. You may actually have been the first one to leave a comment on one of my videos, and I really appreciate all the support. Awesome. Good digger, Nathan. He's found some other gold pieces, too. He found one gold coin. He's going to explain what it is. That's going to be coming up soon, so check him out. Two good guys, Kevin over at MDing Etex with Kevin. And Nathan over Dog is my co-pirate. Links to both channels down below. Check them out, guys. You're going to like them. Let's get back to the digging. I'm digging back underneath of another big old tree. And I got to the edge, and I just got this really cool pin. It's big. I mean, look at the size of it. That's awesome. These are still pretty sharp, too. It looks like it says... St. Christopher? It's hard to read through my camera. St. Christopher, protect us. Awesome. I'm going to show the nibbler. We're going to keep on going. Kyle is walking over Car to me. Car chassis. Oh, yeah, the undercarriage. <laughs> Hold that here. This is what I got. It's pretty cool. Whoa. Yeah, it's an old pin. It's still sharp. It says, St. Christopher, protect us. Oh, yeah. I don't know if it's old or not. That's neat. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Why do you find the better stuff? Than I, <laughs> I just dig a lot of <laughs> I'll cut that out. I dig a lot of stuff. All right. All right. Later. I'm really deep at the moment. Kyle, how deep am I? Oh, I got it. Silver. It's like a filter. Uh, it's an aluminum filter. Man, why? how do the biggest things get down so deep? Looks like it's off of a car even, just a... You know, an old air filter of some sort. Not what I wanted. Yeah, it's starting. Oh, okay. There. Oh, I just got that piece. Uh, <laughs> let me see. Yeah, you can see where it's definitely mounted somewhere. I don't know what it would be for. I don't know. In the pocket it goes. Kyle just got this cool arcade token. He was a winner. Looks like Wildwood. All right, it's about seven inches down. It was a deep one, a faint 81. I was hoping it was going to be a silver dime, but it's, uh, it's a wheat penny. I haven't gotten the date yet. I'm going to turn it over for the first time, and I'm still not going to get a date. Now, I'm going to have to do some cleaning on it. 
I don't know. I have to clean it up a little bit. Whew! I just asked the homeowner if he could order some pizzas. I'll, I'll pay for it, but I'm starving. Here comes the nibbler. What'd you find? The homeowner's concerned about the holes. Oh, is he? Yeah. The uh, homeowner was getting upset with seeing all the plugs flipped over. I think they politely asked us to, uh, to leave. Um, we ordered a pizza. I'm waiting for it to come. So I'm at least sticking around for my pizza. That happens. Sometimes you get a, you know, you get the boot. Yeah, we'll be back. All right, we're out of there. Not willingly, but we got kicked out, like I said, after one hour. They didn't want us digging holes. I'm not sure what they thought we'd be doing. Maybe they thought we would just be walking around looking for 100 year old coins on the surface. <laughs> but we got kicked out. We did get a few goodies. Kyle got the really cool token. He's a winner for something. Uh, it gives us got one dime there. Looks like eight pennies. No Wheaties, but I'm sure we would have. He got the cool little old bracket there. It's all brass or copper. Some car parts. You got the undercarriage, lead fishing weight. Uh, the hatchet head it was pretty good. I'm sure he would have found more too, but that's what happens. It kicked out. So uh, I'll show my stuff later. So uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one later. And my finds, guys, it wasn't very much. We weren't there very long before we got kicked out. Uh, mason jar lid. I got the old air filter piece. Uh, don't know what this is. Two harmonica reeds, including the whole one that you saw. I got the undercarriage of like a Hot Wheels car. I got one key, double X access. I did get the cool St. Christopher's pin. St. Christopher protect us, very cool. Uh, I also got the really cool lead soldier. I didn't really clean him too well yet, but that's him. Uh, two pieces of bling. Uh, I found one you saw on camera. I found another one. My wife thinks it's like a necklace, like it would loop like that and go around your, you know, your, your, your bracelet. Not a necklace, a bracelet. Uh, coins, not very much. Like I said, it wasn't there very long. Two pennies, two dimes, one nickel, two quarters, and one wheat penny, which turned out to be a 1942, I think. And that was it, guys. And that was it. This was a short hunt. I dug maybe an hour and a half, Kyle half that because he had to leave to get the shovel. I don't know what happened. The, the, the homeowner, we were joking around. Kyle even gave him that dinosaur Hot Wheel he found. We were getting along. I ordered a pizza and then five minutes after the pizza for all of us, he told Kyle, I don't want you guys digging here anymore. You got to leave. I don't know what that was all about, but it happens, you know. Um, Sometimes you see those plugs flipped over and the homeowner might freak out and think like, oh my God, the whole yard's gonna look like a bomb went off. But you know, we all know that's not the case. You flip them back over, it looks good as new. But you can't argue with a homeowner when he tells you to leave. So that was that. But uh, let's get out of here. We're gonna do this giveaway and everybody's excited. Who's gonna be a billionaire? Let's go check right, it out. it's time for the giveaway, guys. I got everyone's name scattered across all these pieces of paper. There's three rows. I don't even know if you want to look at them. You can pause it or something. They're in no particular order. I see a lot of names I know. I just saw Dog. That's my co-pirate. Um, DDM. I know them. Um, What's up, boy? It's your Reese, too. There's Reese. To there's Chaos Paddlers. Uh, Crazy finds a Matt. <laughs> I know him. He's a nice dude. Guess it was fate. I know John. I know a lot of these people. I'm just trying to show you your name. Like I said, they're not in any kind of order. They're just randomly thrown up here. You can find where you are. I think there was like 400 and some entries, something like that. So uh, if you saw my last video when I did a giveaway, you might know how this works. If not, I'll explain it. First, we got to cut these up. All right, let's cut them up. I got my buddy Reese here help me. So let's cut these up and get every name inside the bucket. Right, now that they're all cut up in this bowl, I've got over 400 some names. You'll have to just trust me that everyone's name is in here. And now I'm going to cram all these names into this egg. Let me see this, Reese. They're going to be crammed, crushed, smushed in here. 
and then you'll see what we're gonna do. All right, and they're in here, inside this egg, stuffed to the gills, every single person's name. Let's go draw this the winner, our own style. All right, here we go, guys. Here's our official drawing. What Reese is gonna do is inside that egg are every single person's name. Reese is gonna give it a shot. The egg's gonna explode. All the paper's gonna come flying. And up here, about maybe 15, 20 feet away is this bucket. If you land inside the bucket, you're the winner. If no one lands in the bucket, which we've never had done before, closest to the bucket will be the winner. My wife's gonna man a second camera. She thinks there's no chance one will make it all the way to the bucket because it's paper, but I have faith. All right, so my wife is behind me with a different angle. Reese, are you ready? Three, two, one, go. Let's see, let's see. The closest one I think is this one right here. Wait, 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 let's measure. All right, go ahead, let's measure. That is more than a bat away. That's the closest one so far right here. Um, those are way out there. Don, we've never had it. All right, here it is, are you ready? And the winner is, we just picked it up, I couldn't even see it. J3B Diggy. J3B Diggy. I know him. Jeremiah. Wow, someone I know. He's up in Canada. J3B Digging Canada. Congratulations. Is there a you place? are the million, billion, quadrillion, all those winners. J3B Digging Canada. Send me a link, buddy. Which I don't even have your address, but send it to me again. Congratulations, everybody. Thanks for playing. There they all are. Hold on, wait. Someone's got to help me clean all these up. No, no, no. Bye. Come on. You got to help me clean all these up. There's hundreds of them. 